the next thing that we're going to do is change or edit text on a page. So I'm going to navigate to the pages section. I'm going to choose the page that I want to edit. So that I can see what's going on, I'm going to right click and open that in a new tab. That's the page that I'm going to be making the edits on. So the page loads and now I can see it. And I want to change this week's show section. So here's my header. Here's my this week's show. And here's the title. So in order to, I'm going to make sure that I'm in the visual. There's a visual and a text section to the editor. Um, and this text section has the, the, if you want to see the code of what's going on, so you can see that this is a H3 uh, header and, you know, an H5 header. And then this is a paragraph. So I come over to the visual section and I can select it here and I can also see that it's a headline three or I can see it's a heading five or I can select it and I can see that it's a paragraph. So if I wanted to change the title, like make it bold, change the text, I could just do that here. I'm not going to change the text. If I wanted to change the color of the text, you can do that here. Although with the theme that we have installed on this website, we can set predefined colors. So, um, you know, we can set the, the colors for your specific brand, um, which I've done on this website. So if I choose light or dark, that will give me my brand colors instead of having to choose those every time that creates, um, makes that a lot faster of a change. And then of course I could change the text orientation so I could move this to the center if I wanted to. I can go over to advanced design settings and I can change a lot of things here. I can change the font, but of course I've set the font to be the default for the brand for the whole website. So I'm, I would leave that alone. I can change the text size. I can change the color, spacing, height, back, background color, um, image again I wouldn't I, I wouldn't recommend getting into these things unless you want to spend some time in order to change the or save the changes that I've made I want to make sure to update the site so Once I save the changes, the page will reload. Now I can come over to the live site and I can see that the title of the show was changed.